everyone, uh, I'm Charlie Broom. Uh, I'm excited to announce my partnership with Equipment Distributor Premier Tennis Plus. Um, before I go into discussing what type of equipment I use, um, I just wanted to give a little bit of information about myself. Um, I picked up a racket pretty much ever since I could walk um, and I played a lot of sports growing up, um, but at 11 years old I decided to commit to playing tennis. Um, and then from 11 to 18, I played a lot of the junior tournaments. I had some notable wins against Stefano Sispas and uh, Jeffrey Blancano, who won the French Open Juniors, as well as competing at my home junior Grand Slam at, at Wimbledon. Um, at 18, I went to college. I played at Dartmouth College for four years, where I was Rookie of the Year my freshman year, as well as Newcomer of the Year my sophomore year. Um, we also had great team success where we won the Ivy League Championship that, that year as well. Um, unfortunately, due to COVID, my uh, senior year was cut short, so I used the extra year of eligibility to transfer and play one year at, at Baylor University. Um, I had an amazing time there, worked uh, with the coaches, and I felt like I developed my game a lot, where I ended up becoming Big 12 Newcomer of the Year, um, as well as uh, Big 12 Champion at number five singles. Um, I am now in a position where I'm starting my professional journey and I'm excited to share that with you all. Thanks talking about my equipment. Um, the racket I use is the Wilson Blade 1820, uh, 305 grams. Um, I actually keep this at stock weight. Um, as I'll explain later, I have uh, sort of two, two grips on it, but um, I chose the 1820 mostly because it has great feel and control um, over the slightly more open string pattern of 1619. Um, I feel like when I was uh, a little younger, I wanted something with a bit more power. So I've also used Babolat and Head as well in the past. And I think they're, they're great for especially younger or junior players who want to get a little bit more power. As I got older, I used um, an older Yonex, which had a bit more stability and a bit more control, which I think uh, has been more, mostly beneficial for my game. So. As I say, this has been uh, a racket that I really enjoy playing with. Um, it gives me great control, great stability, and it's the best for my uh, aggressive game style. Um, so to go into the strings that I use, so in the mains, I actually use uh, a Luxalon Alley Power. It's uh, 1.25 millimeters. And then in the crosses, I use uh, a slightly less well-known, but Vocal Cyclone Tor. Um, the reason I use the, the Alu is that it's great for power, um, especially having that slightly more closed string pattern. I think what I maybe lack for in power, I can make up for in the string. Um, and then in the crosses, I use the, the Cyclone, which has an octahedral design, which basically gives you a little bit more uh, grip and a little bit more spin that you can generate on the racket. Again, having that closed string pattern doesn't always help with that. So to make up for uh, the differences in the racket, I can use the strings. Um, I have used in the past a lot of Selenko string. I used a Hyper G and also Revolution. Both of those were great for me in terms of feel, comfort, and, uh, and also power. So definitely depending on your game style, you wanna try and match your uh, sort of playing style to the racket and then complement that with the string choice, whether you want a bit more stability, a bit more uh, spin, a bit more power. And then for the grip, so as I said before, I use uh, a grip size three, but I actually use two over grips as I feel this gives me an additional level of comfort, which um, you know is obviously very important when you're playing. Uh, the specific grip I use is the Wilson Pro over grip. Um, it's great for sweat, absor sweat absorption, feel, comfort, um, and those are the things that I'm looking for when I'm, I'm using my grip. I, in the past, I've used Tawny grip, uh, which I've been, you know, I've played in hot conditions, and that's really great for sweat absorption. Um, and I've also used a head pro over grip, which is really tacky, but the feel and sweat absorption maybe isn't quite as good. Um, but I think this is the best combination, especially if you're just starting out, definitely looking to get a grip like this, where feel and comfort is most important. Um, and then lastly for my shoes, I use the Nike Cages. Um, this is the most recent generation of these. Um, when I've used shoes before, the thing that's most important to me is uh, comfort, stability, and then also the weight of them. Um, these are great because they're very lightweight, very durable, but actually give my ankle and give my foot really good support and cushioning. Um, in the past, I've used A6 shoes, which have been, uh, again, very light, but maybe not quite as forgiving as this kind of shoe. And then I've played a lot of tournaments on clay, which I've used head as well before, which have got great grips, which is obviously important when you're sliding. But 
for hard courts, and I've been playing on hard courts a lot in the last four years. Uh, these Nike shoes have been been really great, served me well, um, and I would definitely encourage anyone who's sort of looking to play on hard a lot to use these shoes. Thank you all for tuning into my equipment review video. Um, if you have any questions about anything, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I'll leave my email and my Instagram handle in the description of the video. Um, but I appreciate you taking the time to look at this. Thank you.